Hello! This is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. Now, for those who don't know, I uh, have been... I just beat Yagashura, and I'm in the pocket plane. And uh, we're going to go ahead and face one of the challenges as soon as I rest. Let me rest first. I forgot to rest between episodes. My bad. Sespinar is good servant. Oh, yes, yes, you are, Sespinar. Yes, you are. All right, so what's in here? Oh, no. So who's this? Look on me, RPG crawler. See yourself as you might have might have been had Garai and taken Saravok instead of you. Had your path taken a different turn. Look on me and know that I despise you and recant the ease in which you had lived. I would have given you much for a home and father such as Garayan. Bullshit! Saravok had the Iron Fucking Throne. They're a noble uh, and a mercenary group. Holy shit. I shall not allow you to exist. Stop me if you can. Yeah, you want to see me stop you? Come for me. I already killed these assholes once. Oh, wow. Uh, Dorn's getting his ass kicked. Come on. There we go. So who's this? RPG crawler, run in. Oh, that's bullshit. Finger of death on Corgan. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Come on. Hurry it up so I can strip all those spells off you. Okay. RPG crawler did five damage to RPG crawler to spell effects. Let me go ahead and poison my weapons and shit. I really should get on the mage. I really should get on the mage. RPG crawler's weapons are poisoned. Come on, Dorn. Or not. Yes. No, RPG crawler, don't die. I knew that was coming. God damn it, starting off on a poor note. You know what? RPG Crawler leveled up, and I never leveled him up, so let's do that real quick. And, um. Do another time trap. I think that's all I need. Yeah, time trap. Accept. And we'll go ahead and quick save the game. What would you now have this time as we come up here, yes. I'm going to have RPG Crawler hide in the shadows. <sighs> Alright, let's try this again. Take out the mage again. Mage is down. Let's take out RPG Crawler real quick. Yes. Edwin, no! All, all Run, right. Edwin! Come on, Edwin. Keep moving, Edwin. Okay, RPG Crawler is badly injured. Ah, oh, no. Everybody's on Edwin for some reason. Holy shit. Come on, Edwin. Uh, Edwin. Alright. Their target's gone. Go ahead and uh, get on Angelo next. And, um. What the fuck? I thought I killed Samaj. That's bullshit. Let me drink my potions, get my people healed up. Can I drink. Can I kill these guys without using any spells? I think I'm gonna have to use spells on them. Come on, kill Angelo. Thank you. Now get on the castle again. Ah, Saravok. Run, Saravok. And drink a potion. Come on. 
Try and get Tamaka. Oh, god damn it. There goes Edwin. You have a problem? So, Tamaka killed Edwin and then Saravak decapitated her. What kind of bullshit is that? Let's, uh. Let's get Edwin up real quick. Don't interrupt me. God damn it. Let me get Edwin up. I'm busy, okay? I'm busy. One day. And re equipped, and I'll see you on the other side. Alright, uh, Edwin's back up. Just gonna have uh, Viconia drop a heal on him. And it doesn't look like there's actually anything else in here that I need. It's just another empty room. In hell. Nothing else? Oh no, why are you standing in the goddamn fire? You know what? It's my place. I'll rest. Thank you. What would you have me do? I will enjoy. Alright, so that was one challenge down. What am I supposed to do now? I beat the challenge. Anything else in here? No? Nothing. Well, I guess that's it for that challenge. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... I'm gonna boggle because... Are you serious? There was like... There wasn't any, uh, angel or anything I needed to talk to in there? No, it's just the one challenge and then it's done. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go head, uh, to my next, uh, my next area. Off into the wild blue yonder. Got the Oasis, M. Catherine, and that's it. Let's go to M. Catherine then. Can't. I gotta go to the Oa Oasis first. Thank you, O Linear Game. Enemy sighted. You will suffer. Oh, yes. oh, it's you again. Hold, I am General Jameis Tom Tombleton, representative of the King and Queen of Tether. You, RPG Crawler, are accused of crimes against our nation and, indeed, all of humanity. Um... Exactly what crimes am I being accused of here? You are a spawn of Baal and responsible for the destruction of the city of Saradouche. Your execution has been ordered, RPG Crawler. May the gods have mercy on your soul. Eh, yeah, well. Sucks to be you. Is this a... a maid? Well, they're down. Oh shit, there's mages over there. Quick, get on them. Oh, damn it. Let's take these people down. No, RPG crawler, don't die. Drink your potion. Thank you. You are going somewhere you do not Let's take out the uh Tetheran captain. I'm loving the way that my people are just chewing through people. I mean it's like, I just kind of look at them funny, and they go down. See? I like, as soon as I target one, the next one's down. There's somebody there. I need to heal Edwin. Edwin, don't die. You don't die, Edwin. What should I fetch now? There we go. Yeah. These are just a, a normal, a normal army. Come on. Your life. Take out these battle mages. Oh fuck! They're immune. You know, if Edwin wasn't taking such hits. This wouldn't be a problem. I just uh, kind of I'm gonna stand him back. Use some help here. I'm gonna equip the staff of the Magi and run in and attack him. Come on. 
What would you have to do? This one is in focus. This stuff's gonna wear off. I don't even want to bother. What? Here's the thing. Why is Edwin still taking? Oh, Edwin's still taking damage because he's got an acid arrow on him. I'm gonna grab all these potions to replace the one I'm, I'm the ones I'm using. It's in the middle of the combat. I'm I'm just looting in the middle of the combat. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm picking up pocket change. I will carry no more. Find your trinket upon the ground. And continue. I'm cursed. You can do nothing but Come on, stop it already. Okay, tell him I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna get them all on this one. Feel its icy breath. Actually, wait, there's there's an archer here. There we go. Now back onto the battle mage, who is barely injured, which means his stuff's wearing off. And then finally this last one. Sucks to be him. I really should have cast spells or something to dispel those uh, deflections. All right, let me loot up real quick. I'm gonna. I'll tell you if I get anything. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you what that note is. Mind your tone. And uh, whether I get anything worthwhile out of all this. I am shit. not some. Be the answer plus four. It lowers magic resistance and armor class, so it might actually be useful. I don't know where I'm gonna equip it. I might dual wield it with something. I don't know. I got a bounty notice. This short document appears to be an official bounty for the from the crown of tether from the crown of tether offering gold, a hundred thousand gold pieces, in fact, for a proof of RPG crawler death. All bail spawn are indicated to be dangerous, but RPG crawler is singled out as being doubly so and responsible for the destruction of Saradouche and the loss of so many lives there as well as elsewhere. A rough but accurate description follows. Throw that in my notes. All right, got everything looted. Let's take a look at the note. This is a personal letter written in an elegant hand. My faithful General Jamis, I implore you to move with great urgency to intercept the ball spawn RPG crawler before he can do any more damage. Whether or not he is responsible for what occurred in Saradouche, we cannot allow him to continue and cannot afford the time for a trial, if we can even capture him. Our other forces are busy containing the riots in the Mir uh, Miratma and keeping opportunists from our borders. You are our only hope in stopping RPG Crawler. Use any measures necessary and be safe, my old friend. May the gods help us all. Queen Monarch Zaranda Rindon. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, let's go ahead and yes, uh, take a look well. at what they had. Booyah. We've got a, a box here with some, some money in it. And a random arrow of frost, I think. Arrow of ice, yeah. I don't even know if I'm going to keep that. I'm just going to throw it on the ground. Let's take a look at leveling up uh, Edwin. Energy blades or extra level 6 spell. I think energy blades. Oh, and um, Saravok, who gets no more proficiencies just yet. But he does throw up a, uh, another greater whirlwind attack. Except... And then, of course, Corgan. Another good whirlwind attack. Boom! Alright, everybody's good to go. Let's see what this map has in store for us. It's not a large map. It's a low to mid sized map. I might grab, grab some more magic items off the ground. Protection from petrification? Why would they need that? Enemy sighted. Let's a see pike what your guts be looking like. Oh no! I'm just going through the ranks, killing them all. Oh my god! Don't bother someone else. Fine, fine. Just stop bastarding me. What would you have me do? Take out this pike one real quick. Oh, oh. And then rearrange our group again. God damn, we've got an army here. You know what this calls for? This calls for actually using spells. Because this is ridiculous. 
This is ridiculous. Here, have a hard wilting. Victory shall be ours. We and uh, have a storm of vengeance. Come on. Or a firestorm. That'll work. My spell disrupted. Yes. No, why would you target Edwin? What should I fetch now? God damn these people. Yes. Run, Edwin. Why the hell are they always uh, getting on Edwin? All he was going to do is hard wilting them. Mind your toe. You have a problem? To battle. So are we just killing all of Cormor now? I look for you. Well, Viconia, you get to engage the combat. You are going somewhere. Take out this cleric. Take out this pikeman. Why would you run into your own firestorm? What the fuck, Viconia? It doesn't make any sense. On. Let's kill all of them. Let's take out this archer down here. And what else we got? I think that's all of them, isn't it? People are still dying. Yeah, that archer's down. Yeah, you better run. No one fucks with RPG Crawler. Not even a damn army. Bounty or no? Wait. Those magic items sell for, for quite a bit. Not a huge amount, but enough. I am not I mean, no once more, be rearrange shit. Alright, uh, let's pick up what's in here. More money and gems, nice. And potions and money. So they they literally equipped all of their random pikemen with uh, magic weapons. That Cormier is rich, isn't it? Alright, I looted the place up and I believe I've got everything, so I'll be on my way now. And on to the next area, which is uh, Amkethrin. Come on. Aha! Chapter Dust break. blows around you, clearing a moment later to reveal what can only be Amkethrin, a village nestled into an outcropping of rock amidst a desert so dry and sparse of life that you wonder how such a place could survive. Dominating the village, and seemingly carved out of the stone face of the rocks All right. is a large and ornate fortress. Its purpose... A fortress unknown. city in the desert. Nice. Let's go ahead and go done. Chapter 9. We've got the Monastery Gates, the Cave of the Dead, Smuggler's Cave, Carrick Smithy and Arcanaut Archives 2. What? Tavern and Temple of Joaquin. It will be so let's done. go through. I have no idea what reputation I have at this point. I trust all this work. You there, you must be the one that Balthazar is expecting. Perhaps. That's right, is Mellison. Any questions you can, you can direct to Balthazar himself. Gather any of your friends. Balthazar comes. Okay, then. So... You must be the ball spawn Melisande told me of. I've been expecting you. Uh, yes, I am here. I am Balthazar, head of the monastic order here in Amkethrin, and its ruler as well, although that is not an official position. Melisande preceded you and told me of your coming. It's a good thing that she was Melisande able to do so. I had to fight my way through. And did not say where she was going. She has left with me directions for you to reach these enclaves she mentioned. Is this what you expected? Um... She mentioned you. I appreciate your help. Melison has vouched for you, RPG Crawler. As far as that goes, I will tolerate your presence and give you the information that Melison asked me to. Here are the maps to the enclaves Melison mentioned. 
Neither of them are very far from here, as you can see. Add them to your own map if you wish. Do with them as you wish, RPG Crawler. Am Catherine is available for your supplies and rest. Do not disturb my own activities and will not come to grief. Is that understood? Fair enough. It's your town, after all. Thank you. Do not enter my fortress, RPG Crawler. You will be denied entry. Everywhere else is open to you. Good day and good luck. Alright. So let's uh, look around town then. Pick up some subquests. Talk to the monk. Alright. What do we got down there? A mercenary captain? Commoners going to the taverns? A boy? Let's talk to the boy. You don't want to go in that cavern. That's where we bury our dead. But now it's full of really bad creatures, my mama says. The priestess says they're all undead, but she can't do nothing. And Balthazar won't help and kill them for us. My papa says the stranger man brought the cavern to, the, brought the creatures here he did. The stranger man? Who's that? I don't know his name. Said he was just passing through, but his little girl got real sick right after he arrived. Then he started acting all spooky and scared, saying the dead were coming for him. Sure enough, I guess they did, and Papa says that's why Balthazar sealed off the cavern. I can't even go and see Mama's grave. Where can I find this stranger? I hear he rented a house in the village, but I don't know which one. Papa says he drinks like a fish. Maybe you can find him at Zeki's Tavern? But I, um, didn't say nothing to you about anything, okay? I gotta go. Alright, so one quest in. Uh, what do we got down here? Saving wench! Begging won't save you now! Okay. We will make a harsh example of you, and maybe others will think twice before they steal from us. Please, my daughter meant no harm. Her motives were pure, even if her actions were wrong. All right, what kind sure. of motives? How do you justify your daughter's theft of her hard-earned gold, Mayor Harad? Okay. So, food is scarce. Asana needed hmm. your money to buy bread from the black market to feed the poor. The problems and the of your mayor town are not stealing. our problems, Mayor. Your excuses cannot justify your daughter's crimes. Stay clear, Mayor. So they're gonna kill you us. You can do woman. nothing here. Make peace with your god, Asana. Your life is forfeit. Please. Will no one help my daughter? Will no one stand against these brutes who have invaded our town? Um, maybe? I don't know. The townsfolk are scared. They will not intervene. I don't know. Is it worthwhile? Of my actions. No, this is not right. Asana has done nothing wrong. You there, stranger. You are surely not afraid of these mercenaries. Can you not help my daughter? Are you talking to me? Yes, you. The townsfolk cower in terror. They let these mercenaries do whatever they please. But you, you're obviously powerful enough to stand up to these savages. Um, I honestly don't know. I'll not per permit this barbaric act of mob justice Thank to continue. You. I feel those mercenaries will execute us on the right in the street if someone does not speak to them on her behalf. Please hurry. May I be of service? Please do something. Yo. What? Yo! Do I know you? Wait, May what? I be of service? Yeah, who do I talk to? I'm trying to talk to them. What? Show yes. me. Do I have to Should talk to them with what? RPG Crawler? Do I know you? I will listen. Wait. Mind your so wait, is there a leader or a captain or something? The mercenaries over here. Um. So you thought your smugglers could sell our stolen gear and get away with it, eh, a salmon? Hmm. Or should we just call you Saman? We know all about your shady reputation, Saman Avarian. That name kind of rings a bell. Now, let's I don't know do why. Anything. Hasty gentlemen. As you know, I could not have been involved, as I have only recently returned to M. Kethran. Save it, you weasel. We know you run the smugglers here in Amkathran, so you're the one to blame. We've been waiting for you. Come on. Hand over our stuff, Simon, or we'll slit your lying, cheating throat. That's kind of rough. Oh, well, of course, I, uh, 
By my sea salt stinging eyes. Look who's coming this way. A familiar face from my past. I thought I killed you. I see you're in a bit of a bind, Seaman. Your Simon. arrival is a happy coincidence, given the situation. You can actually solve my dispute with these rather upset gentlemen. You a friend of this double-crossing rat? I wouldn't say friend, exactly. This doesn't concern you. This is between us and Seymour. Just keep walking. But I can solve this little dispute quite easily now. RPG Crawler, please return that equipment I sold you yesterday to these fine men. You, you bought our stuff? Of course not. Same as lying. Don't be difficult, RPG Crawler. We can all plainly see that you're carrying equipment that does not rightfully belong to you. Hey, yeah, those weapons look mighty familiar to me. Those boots look exactly like the one I'm missing. You've got our stuff. Back off, pal. You don't want to start something you can't finish. I guess RPG Crawler isn't going to cooperate. I'm afraid this can only end in violence. Well, you've got one. Okay. Sorry, RPG Crawler, but I'm afraid you're on your own here. Fuck you, Salmon! Boom! That's one down. Gold horned helm. Nice. Come on. Kill him already. And another one. Chain mail. It's all magic armor and shit. Alright, where the fuck did Salmon go? Where is Balthazar? Why is the monastery closed? Okay. Can I talk what? to these guys yet? Do I know you? Is this a mercenary I can talk to? Declare yourself. Um Into the tavern then. There's somebody the named Marlo over here. Talents. But so be you. Come on. Good day. Marlo appears busy. Please do not hurt me. I, I only approach you because I have heard of your great power, stranger. You are you, you are an adventurer from the north, yes? Yes, yes, of course you are. Anyone can see that you're an extraordinary man. Please forgive me. You must be the man that the boy in the, by the graveyard spoke of. You have heard of me? Yes, I suppose this is a very small town and very remote. I thought remote enough that no one would find me here. How wrong I was. I would not bother you, stranger, but I'm in a terrible peril. I need your aid. I beg you for a boon, my lord, or I and my daughter both shall surely perish. Uh, what kind of peril are you talking about? I cannot speak more of this here. Please come to my home on top of the cliff, my lord. I beg you. You can speak freely there. Very well. Where is this home of yours? It's atop the east cliff, my lord. It is a simple dwelling, but safe for the moment. My name is Marlow. Please meet me there and I shall explain everything, I swear. Do not Let's talk anger. to the uh, mercenary. I heard Athkatla was sacked within the last month by the Scythalesians. And then a great, the great ogre himself was revealed as a ball spawn and killed by some fire giant. Incredible story, I think. Yeah, let's talk to the uh, tavern. I got some cheap beer for ya. More travelers come to tiny little Anne Catherine, eh? Bet you, bet you yet another soldier for hire there, good, ba good Balthazar is called for. And what if I were? I did not mean to imply anything by my question, dear man. All are welcome here in Zephyr. Never let it be said that Zaki Rafia had turned aside a customer. No, sir. Ask you some questions. Can you tell me about this Balthazar? He's a leader of a monastic order within the fortress. Uh, tell me what you know. The monks have been always, always been supportive of Am Catherine, providing guidance when it was necessary and even protection from the creatures that sometimes come out of the Kalim Desert. We have always been grateful for their presence. They and the smugglers who bring us supplies to live. Since Balthazar assumed leadership of the Order, however, nothing has been the same. The Order ignores us. They apply restrictions on the smugglers and have even killed some, restricting the supplies that the village can be restricting the supplies the village can be brought. And then there are all the mercenaries. It is to be expected, I suppose. Many say that Balthazar is one of the terrible spawn of the dead god, god Baal. He prepares for war, no doubt, and we simply pray that this war does not come to Anne Catherine. So it is said, he is brought here long ago by the mage Melisan, who protects him. We fear that the old tales of destruction by the children of Baal may come true after all. Um, what can you tell me about a woman named Melisan? Melisan is protector of all Baal's children, it is said, just as Elminster protects those who harp. 
Why such a mage would protect Godspawn, who only bring terror and destruction, I do not know, nor does anyone. I know little else of her, however, my friend. No one has told me see, uh, of seeing the Melis and the maid for many months now. Oh, that sounds like a trap. How about Sendai? A few of the mercenaries that pass through the Zephyr have so often whispered it more than once, and always with great fear. Sendai is a drow, a dark elf, or so I understand. They say that Balthazar is mobilizing his army to attack her, and that they fear the denizens of the Underdark that such an attack, attack would bring them face to face with. Some have said that she is a powerful ball spawn and an assassin. A few seem sure. She lives beneath the earth like all drow, however. I do not know much more than this. Okay, how about, uh, Abazagal? I have heard that name, I am sure. Is it a person? I am unsure. There's a group of captains in here once before, and they were talking in hushed tones about an army of dragons. Yes! I believe it was their talk that this name of yours came up. I thought at the time that it was the name of the mountains that the army was supposedly in, though I had never heard of such a range. The thought of fighting dragons is a sobering one. If Balthazar is planning on battling such creatures with his army, he, well, I would wonder at his state of mind, perhaps. Tell me, uh, what are all these mercenaries for? If I could tell you that, Kasadi, then I would know far more of the goings-on in this world than I would like. I hear stories occasionally from the mercenaries when they come here, and they frighten me. I have heard tales of great wars and destruction in the lands beyond the desert. And while the Order has never involved itself in such things before, it seems Balthazar has changed things. He plans a war, a great and terrible war, but I do not know against whom. About that fellow Marlow? Only a little. He is a stranger to Amkethron. Arrived only weeks ago. I do not believe he intended to remain. Indeed, I suspect he has been traveling for some time. But his daughter fell ill, or so I hear. He has been a little crazed as well. He blames his daughter's illness upon the undead creatures that are said to have risen in our graveyard cavern. Poor soul, he drinks much, but it seems to do him little good. Okay, how about the Order of Monks? How does one get inside this fortress? I do not know. Balthazar sees no one and, and has not for months. The gates are well guarded and even protected by spells placed by Balthazar's hired sorcerers. To force entry would be foolish. RPG crawler, I can tell just by looking at the defenses of that stronghold that a direct assault would be pointless. Perhaps the smugglers know of a way in. It is hard to say. Word carries word carries of boasts of a few of them that they have stolen into the fortress secret, secretly for acts of thievery. This may be nothing more than idle tales, however. And I think I'm going to be on my way. Let's look back here real quick. Got nothing worthwhile. Let's talk to this mage. Be gone, fool. Careful, wizard. That's one of the strangers you're talking to. Best not to get yourself into trouble if you take my meaning. I suppose you may be right. My apologies, good man. I meant no offense. Well, those mercenaries are standing up for me. But I need to... I need to deal with... Uh, Very well. This shit here. Um, you could go to the Temple of Joaquin, but eh. Let's head up in this direction, shall we? Wait, let's go to Carrick Smithy. How do I get to Carrick Smithy? There's the cave, so Carrick Smithy must be in here. And then hopefully there's a way up onto the cliff, because I don't see anything here. Hold on, what's this? Your monastery once cared for this town, but under Balthazar you have abandoned us. The people are starving and your master does nothing. Okay. Balthazar is concerned with greater matters, old man. Bah! He is gathering mercenaries and wizards for an army. How is this more important than bringing in food for the starving children? You have no idea of the events that the monastery has set in motion. Man, I think no I'm gonna have to slaughter everybody in town again. No, this is too important. In the name of Joaquin, I demand a meeting with Balthazar. He must be made to see the insanity of his callous actions. Okay. No demands of me or the monastery. Balthazar uh. cares nothing about this pathetic town. Go beg your dead god to feed these people. Damn, Blasphemer. man. I will stand for your monastery's tyranny no longer. You oh. dare attack me, old man? Your death shall Come be Come on, at least wait for me to get there. Pain. 
Yo, stop! Oh, you! You were that powerful stranger from that they were. Ah, excuse me. No. Talk to them. Your tidings abound. I can't intervene. Shall I just... Shall I jump in? I'm gonna quick save the game and jump in. Yo! Boom! Come on! Die already! There we go. I got the Oaken Ring. Nice. Let me put this shit away first real quick. So it's just as well that I intervened. The Oaken Ring is one thing for, for one of the things I need to make. Unfortunately, I don't think I actually need it. But it'll be nice to have on hand. Nice plus three armor. Go ahead and sell that for a pretty penny at some point. It's my retirement fund. There we go. Wait, what? Oh, the monk attacked. I, that wasn't the monk that died. That was the damn priest of Joaquin. How am I going to have to quick load the game? And he's gone. Alright. Well, that apparently didn't aggro anybody. Okay. Let's head in here. Got a boy and a commoner. I look for I Talk to the commoner. To do. It's one of the ball spawn. I seriously. Seriously. God damn. He gets a scary. What? We got the oh well. Oh well. Wait, wait. Let's let's loot this place. I took the hits. So I may as well loot the place. <laughs> Killing commoners and children for the Kill spare change in the house. Let's head up here. Oh, look. We can go down this hatch. Who the hell makes a shop where the only access is a roof hatch? You have Carrick the Smith. Very well. Why is that somewhat familiar mm. to me? Yes. Why, hello there, hmm? It's not often I get people people barging into my shop. It's the reason I chose such a remote locale for my research, after all. Who are you? Who am I? My name is Carrick, which means absolutely nothing to you, I'm sure. My work with machinery is of renown only amongst gnomes of a similar technological bent as myself. Well, you no doubt really ridiculed me for my work. So many others have, after all. But I'm used to it. So I suppose I can tell you something about what I do. I make armor. Weapons, too. Powerful, powerful armor and weapons. It's a process I've been homing for years, or honing in for years and years, searching for a way to tap into the power of... Ah, oh, well. No, no, I can't go on having folks laughing at me. I can't bear it. Just just go away. I'm sure you have lots of adventures to be in, uh, on about. Don't mind me. Can you make some armors and weapons for me? If you had the appropriate material, then perhaps. But I deal with very specific requirements. It Well, you wouldn't understand. Do I have the material you need? I'll just take a quick look. Oh, what's this? Silver pantaloons, and a most fascinating specimen as well. Most remarkable. Most people don't just understand the special inherent magical qualities of a good pair of pantaloons. I commend you for your good taste, my lord. If you had, say, a trio of such specimens, specifically in the gold, silver, and bronze varieties, well, I could make you an outfit with which the gods themselves would fear. Laugh as you may, should you ever come across such objects. Well, do come and see me again. Silver, I thought I had the golden pantaloons. Yeah, I need the bronze. You are All right, so this is where I get the pantaloons made. I look for head up here. I think this is the last place I'm going to do. Is I'm going to go into Marlowe's home, and then we're going to call it for for this episode. You must gather your party before venturing forth. <sighs> you are welcome. All right. Welcome to my humble accommodations, my lord. Will you hear out my tale? Go ahead. Actually, I've come to kill you, Marla. No offense. No offense. I just do that sort of thing. As much as I want to, I'm going to go ahead and listen to his tale. 
As I've said before, my name is Marlo. I hail from Kalimshan to the south, where I was a Kalimshan, yeah, to the south, where I was a merchant, a successful one. I suppose that's where I first came into contact with Von Goth. A lich, my lord, a powerful one. In Kalimshan, there are many strained wonders of magic, and Von Goth was not out of place. Von Goth? I don't know. It is he who had chased us here, hunting us mercilessly. Why would a lich be hunting you? Von Goeth desired my poor Mala, my daughter. She is the young woman here on the bed, a good girl, a virgin and pure of heart. He desired her soul, he said, so I fled Kalimshan with her. But he caught up to us nevertheless, and somehow he has taken her soul despite my efforts. She she lies near death, and there is nothing the local priestess can do to help her. I know Von Goeth is in the cavern that serves as a graveyard to this place. I, know the, I told the monks about them, but they sealed off the cavern rather than somehow getting my daughter's soul back as I had hoped. Mala is the world to me, my lord, and I do not know how much longer Von Goeth will remain trapped in that cavern. He could always he could already be loose. He will kill me and keep cut Mala's soul. I am sure of it. Uh, how do I, you propose I get inside the graveyard? I paid the guard there what little money I have left. I had thought to try and get Mala's soul myself, but the guard will let in whomever I ask him to. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Tell me why I should help you. I'm not the best of men, my lord. I would not plead for myself, but I do plead for Mala. Look at her. She does not deserve a, such a terrible fate as this. I have no coin left to offer you. I have bankrupted myself in trying to flee the Lich's reach. But Von Goeth himself is a powerful wizard. Surely he has items that would interest you that you could take from him. Ah, uh, very well. I'll do what I can. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. I will tell the guard immediately to let you in the cavern. Please help Mala as quickly as you can. All right. Yeah. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hunt that Lich in the next episode... But for now, this has been the RPG Crawler with Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition Throne of Ball content. If you like what you've seen, remember to leave a like, comment if you've got feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content. Until next time, take care and goodbye.